Hello. Oh, hello. I'm uh, trying to make myself a little better. I've gone to Alcoholics Anonymous, which is uh, bullshit. <laughs> Doesn't work. First of all, you go in and they're like, OK, Glenn, here's how it is. You can never drink again. <laughs> what? That is the worst first rule I've ever heard in my life. Why don't you lead up to taking away the best thing in the world ever? How about no more Rubik's Cube? <laughs> and no more drinking again, Glenn, because I'm sorry. But drunken Glenn is a fantastic man. <laughs> you have any idea how many times drunken Glenn has gotten me laid? A sober Glenn, so very choosy. <laughs> Drunken Glenn can see the inner beauty of a Rubenesque woman. <laughs> you have any idea how many times Drunken Glenn has given me a ride home? <laughs> and I'm supposed to spit in that man's face? Nay, I say. I think I know. Sober Glenn all the time. Well, here's something you may not know about Sober Glenn. Sober Glenn is judgmental. <laughs> sober Glenn doesn't take the time to find out the diamond inside everyone's rib cage. No, Sober Glenn meets somebody, he makes a snap judgment just like that. Sober Glenn meets a transvestite, he thinks it's disgusting. Drunken Glenn, however. <laughs> but you go there, they're like, no! Sober Glenn all the time. Oh, Sober Glenn, he's so cool. Oh, you should move to Chicago with Sober Glenn and start a family, because isn't he so wise and he doesn't even have to read any books? Sober Glenn should drive, Sober Glenn should make all the sandwiches, because Drunk Glenn's got bad breath and his eyes go all fucked up. <laughs> but here's something, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I very rarely am, didn't every time I got drunk, was that not Sober Glenn's idea? <laughs> Good night. Please thank him, Glenn Wolf.